Distinguished future physicians, welcome to Stomp on Step 1, the only free video series that helps you study more efficiently by focusing on the highest yield material. In this video, I'm going to be covering number needed to treat, number needed to harm, absolute risk reduction, and attributable risk. This is the 10th video in my biostat section, so I suggest you check out the other videos when you're done with this one. You can see here in the top right corner that I give attributable risk and absolute risk reduction a high yield rating of 1. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's a rating scale from 0 to 10, giving you a rough estimate for how important each topic is for step 1. If you'd like to learn more about that rating system, you can head to my website at stomponstep1.com. The attributable risk, or AR, or the absolute risk reduction, or ARR, are basically how much of the observed change in risk is due to the treatment or exposure being studied. Now these two terms are pretty similar. They're calculated the same way. They're essentially the same thing, but they're used in slightly different situations. The difference is in AR, the probability of disease is going down due to a treatment, and in ARR, the probability is going up due to an exposure or risk factor. You could put it another way a little bit more specifically. AR is the amount of disease that would be eliminated if the exposure was eliminated from the population. And ARR would be the amount of disease that would be eliminated if all patients were receiving the drug being studied. Here are the formulas for ARR and AR. These are a little difficult to keep straight, especially for me. So for the most part, I don't even try to remember these so much. I just remember a more simplified version that whichever one I'm using, it's going to be the higher probability minus the lower probability. And that applies to both situations. It's a lot easier to remember. And just whatever the question asks for AR or ARR, I use this and it works well for me. Now that we understand those definitions, we can talk about number needed to treat and number needed to harm. Again, these two terms are almost the same thing. They're calculated the same way they just are used in slightly different situations. That's because the number needed to treat is how many people you need to give a particular treatment in order to have a positive effect on one person or prevent one certain outcome. The number needed to harm is the number of people that need to be exposed to risk factor to affect one person. So consider you're studying a new treatment and it has a negative effect on patients you could also use number needed to harm to measure that side effect in a specific treatment. But again, it's the same thing. You calculate both by just having one divided by either the ARR or the AR, whichever is more appropriate. That brings us to the end of this video. If you liked it and want me to make more, please use the social media share buttons at the bottom of each web page on my website. When you do that, you help me by spreading the word and you help out your friends by giving them a useful study aid. It's a win-win for everybody.